In this video, we're looking at modeling and problem solving question six from exercises 4.1 in new QMaths 12a. In the question, we're shown a table of data. The data shows the times in hours and the number of students who spend that many hours per week using a computer. The question that's posed is what was the typical time spent on a computer for those students included in this sample? Before we start to work this problem, have a read of the problem yourself. Then look back through section 4.1 in the text. Try to see which parts of that text, which formulas, which ideas are coming up and which will be useful in solving the problem that we're, po that we're posed with. Set up a plan for how you'd go about solving this problem. So I've now reread the problem and I had a look back through the section. And a couple of things that I notice is that the section was all about data measures, measures of spread and measures of centrality of data. This question asks us about the typical time spent on a computer. I'm already starting to think that typical might be referring to an average time spent on the computer. I also notice when I look at the table that we've got the time in hours, not just as a single value, but as a range of values. In other words, we've got grouped data. And we need to take that into account in all of the formulas that we're using for calculations that we might go about. So my plan of attack for this problem is to note that the word typical is used and I'm going to interpret that as meaning average or mean. So I'm going to try to figure out what is the average time spent by these students on their computer in each week. Noting that we've got grouped data that means we're going to have to figure out the class midpoints in order to apply the formula for the mean of that data. Looking back in the textbook, I can see that the mean is equal to the sum of the frequency multiplied by the center point of the class or the group divided by the sum of all the frequencies or the number of students or people that we're talking about. So looking up the top, we can note that our Fs, or frequencies, are given in the number row. The midpoints, or the X values, we need to figure those out. So I'm going to add a new row to my table with an X. The midpoints of 2 to 4 is, of course, 3. 5 to 7 is 6. 8 to 10 is 9. And so on, down the line. So we have our Xs and our Fs, and we can apply the mean formula now. So the sum of the f's times x's will be equal to the sum of 2 times 3 plus 4 times 6 plus f is 6 and x is 9, 6 times 9, and so on, all the way along until we come to the final f and x plus 4 times 24. We need to divide that by the sum of the f's which is simply 2 plus 4 plus 6 all the way along the line until we reach the 4 at the end. On the top we multiply and then add each term. I've used my calculator and I find that I have 840. On the bottom we have 59 when we add up all of the F values. Again, moving to our calculator, we can find that that's approximately 14.2. So we have that the mean of the data we've been presented with is 14.2. 14.2 what? Looking back at the data, this is going to be a value for time. So we need to figure that that's going to be 14.2 hours. The final thing that we also need to do in one of these modeling and problem solving activities is to answer the specific question we were given and to do so in words or in sentence form. So we were asked what was the typical time spent on a computer by one of these students, or well, the average time if you like. So I'm going to finish off by writing that the typical time spent on a computer is 14.2 hours making sure that we've got that written in sentence form and with the correct values from the mathematical calculation. So there we have our, mod our modeling and problem solving task. 
looking at the typical time spent on a computer by some students. We've got grouped or classed data and calculating the mean based on the midpoints of that group's data.